That is so neat. Jacob, you're a scientist. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. They're uh, smarter than you might think, I guess, right? And uh, our weather is looking pretty good as we get into our Sunday 60s on the way. But tonight will be a relatively chilly night. Temperatures already cooling off into the 30s across the west. Still at 40 degrees in Bismarck and Minot. But 21 the overnight low in Hedinger. 24 in Dickinson as you're waking up tomorrow morning. 27 in Bismarck. 25 towards Williston. 28 in Minot. Normally our normal overnight lows are getting above that freezing mark in Williston and Minot right at that freezing mark 32 degrees for a typical overnight low for this date and we're getting closer to our average last hard freeze that comes May 1st through 6th throughout western and central North Dakota last freeze of the season typically May 11th to the 17th and last frost less than 36 degrees in the overnight hours is usually closer to the Memorial Day time frame so a little bit longer for that uh, to occur but the reason for the cooler than normal temperatures tonight is because of high pressure and the calmer winds clear skies allowing for that uh, heat from the day to escape out into space we call that radiational cooling we'll have 20s as you're waking up tomorrow morning but temperatures really spike into the afternoon we get into the 60s with a breeze coming in out of the south southwest but that changes on Monday with a cold front passing through temperatures still won't be too bad during the day but it's all about the wind on the first day of your work week as a strong westerly wind will develop on the back side of this clipper system air of low pressure passes to our north in Canada so that means most of the precipitation stays along our northern tier counties as well as up into Canada. There will still be some isolated rain showers coming down towards the I-94 corridor, but again, hit and miss rain showers that'll be gusty at that on Monday. But for tomorrow, it's all about wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, temperatures that'll be near normal to above normal with those low to middle 60s. We'll have a pretty light wind to start the day tomorrow and that south-southwest wind in the afternoon, 10 to 25 miles per hour. Bigger uh, deal on Monday with the winds. Temperatures right around the 60 degree mark for highs, but check out how quickly these westerly winds intensify after sunrise on Monday. By midday, gust over 30 miles per hour and then 40 plus mile per hour gust expected into the afternoon, and those winds will be slow to diminish in the evening. So a ridge for tomorrow that leads to our mild weather. The clipper pass passes through on Monday. We reintroduced the mild temperatures midweek, but a big dip in the jet stream across the western and central U.S. later in the week could lead to more active weather in the form of some more scattered rain showers. But temperatures not looking too bad here on the seven-day Emmeline 50s and those 60s, and we could be close to 70 degrees on Thursday with a br uh, breezy uh, southeast component to the wind, uh, but not looking too bad overall. We'll, we'll have to deal with more wind, but April's the windiest month of the year. Yeah, not too much to complain about, yes, really. I think we're good. All right, thanks, Jacob. <laughs> You're welcome.